Hello, this is a ratio maths cast. We're going to be looking at all types of ratio question. So let's begin. Our first question says Andrew and Barry share 20 sweets in the ratio 2 to 3. How many do they each get? So when we do a ratio question, we like to write down the letters so that we know what's on each side. So Andrew and Barry on the two sides. And the ratio is 2 for Andrew and 3 for Barry. So we're going to draw this now as boxes. So Andrew gets two boxes and Barry gets three boxes. Let me look at the question. They are sharing 20 sweets. So we're sharing 20 sweets between the two of them. And there's five boxes between the two of them. So we're doing 20 shared by five boxes gives us four. So four sweets go in each box. So Andrew's got two boxes, so he's got eight sweets. And Barry has got three boxes, so he's got 12 sweets. So Andrew has eight sweets, Barry has 12 sweets, which is the answer to our question. Right, we're going to have a go at a slightly different one now, but we take pretty much the same approach. Paul and Sarah share money in the ratio 2 to 5. Sarah gets 15 pounds. How much does Paul get? So same method, we're going to put the letters P and S to show which side they're on. And the ratio here is 2 to 5. And then we're going to draw the boxes. So Paul gets two boxes and Sarah gets five boxes. Uh, we look at the question and this time we have to be a bit more careful. Because this bit says Sarah gets 15 pounds. So Sarah has 15 pounds. And Sarah has five boxes. So we have to be careful that we share the 15 pounds between the five boxes that Sarah has. And not all of them. So 15 shared by 5 is 3. So 3 goes in each of the boxes. Paul has got two boxes, so we know Paul has six pounds, which is our answer. Okay, so those two questions, I hope you can tell the difference between them. You've got to work out when you're sharing between all of the boxes or just some of the boxes. Right, next question. Will Chris and Jamie share 24 pounds in the ratio 2 to 1 to 3? How many do they each get? So exactly the same method, except there's three people this time. So it's W, C, and J. And the ratio, which is 2 to 1 to 3. So now we're going to draw the boxes. So Will has two boxes. Chris has one box. And Jamie has three boxes. Right. £24 is being shared between all of them. So £24 is being shared between all of the boxes. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So 24 shared by six is four. So four goes in each box. So Will has two boxes, so he gets eight pounds. Chris just one box, so he just gets four pounds. And Jamie, there's three boxes, so he gets £12. Okay, one more type of question we're going to go through now. Um, Ian is four years old, and his sister Katie is three years old. They share pocket money in the ratio of their ages. Katie gets £12. What will Ian get? So we know it's a ratio question, because it's got the word ratio in. Um, and so that means same method, we've got I for Ian and we've got K for Katie. And then we try and work out what the ratio is. Well, the question says the ratio is their ages. So Ian is four and Katie is three. So the ratio is just their ages. Now we draw the boxes. Four boxes for Ian, three boxes for Katie. Then we read the question, what does it want us to do? 
Well, it tells us that KT gets 12 pounds. So 12 pounds is shared by KT's boxes. And you can see that KT has three boxes. So 12 shared by three is four. So four goes in each box. And we want to know what Ian has. Ian has four boxes. And when you add them up, you get 16. So Ian gets 16 pounds, which is our answer. OK, we've gone through four types of questions there. So here's examples for you to have a go at. Good luck.